Oh my god! It's Tumblr. Oh god. Okay. Yo, she's got legs for days. Pfft, not impressive. I've had mine for years. How do you guys vocalize the punchline semicolon silly punctuation? I always imagine it's a teenage boy voice crack. Hey, come on now. It's not nice to make fun of somebody's voice changing as they get older. It's also not nice to make fun of detective baby legs, okay? They're trying. I love the phrase, they get along like a house on fire. It's perfect. You and me have perfect chemistry, and it's setting off the carbon monoxide detectors. People are calling emergency services to get us to stop being so chummy. Someone died. You panicking running for your life through my labyrinth space station? Me over the intercoms. You have turf bangs. I've never played Portal, but I assume this is what it's like. I'll hang on, let me make one adjustment then. You have turf bangs. I'm reading a story and the characters sat down for dinner and the way it was described, I read that the mashed potatoes were part of the salad. Out of curiosity to see if it was a thing people actually do, uh, th this was this was the closest result I got on Google. Close <laughs> enough. Yeah, we put your girl in the fandom and they villainized her beyond comprehension. Yeah, sorry. They took out all the nuance and made the argument completely black and white. Yeah, my bad. We can't reverse it. Sorry. All right, comments and Andy, name that character. Proceed with your perceivers. Paint primary colors on fan wings. Brilliant! Did we just discover how to paint with all the colors of the wind? Irrationally angry at the people around me failing to pay attention to the airplane's descent and landing. You're literally having a magical experience. Can you fathom the people who have died dreaming about the thing you're currently playing Candy Crush through? A lot of people have died doing this thing too. Just saying. I want to be as healthy and as beautiful as a grazing wild ox. Wild oxen are smelly and gross. Then smell me. Be disgusted by me. I am freely myself. I am me. Well, time to hunt this odd yellow wild ox and put out of its misery. Forget Blorbo from my shows. Look at Blorbo from my house. <gasps> that right there? That's a good Blorbo. Being a weird little girl as a kid provides two options to you. Becoming transgender or becoming a weird adult woman. Both of which are things the world needs more of. I'm sorry, did you mean... Uh, Whoopam! I am not gaslighting you. I'm lying to you. Gaslighting implies a level of effort that I am simply not putting in. Deceiving you does not require much. <laughs> Kirby looked away as his eyes watered. I erased him from existence with my own two nubs. Kirby fanfiction is the funniest thing in the entire world. The important thing to note here is that this refers to canon events. This isn't the author being super edgy or making things up. This canonically happens, and Kirby Fick writers just take it in stride. A five foot seven white boy has been reported doing wall push ups outside of 7 Eleven. Now something bad's happening. <gasps> Jesus Christ! He folded down. Someone help him up! The shrew and the gar separated at birth. I like the Gar's face, because that is like the smile of someone who just let someone else take the blame for his own fart. Ladies, I have got to ask, what is going on? Well, I wake up in the morning, and I step outside. And I take a deep breath, and I get real high. And I scream from the top of my lungs. What's going on?